right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both to just fly away I don't wanna care Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining here. And so today I want to show you how to cook this delicious oven baked chicken with some sauce and cabbage and ugali. Even though I won't be showing you how to cook that ugali and cabbage, I have a recipe for those two. I'll leave a link in the description box. So we're starting with the chicken and for this chicken I'm going to marinate it and then I will not be like leaving it for some few hours just like bake it straight away after marinating so in here I've added the ginger and garlic paste yeah I had blended the ginger and garlic and then now I've added curry powder love curry powder in there and also turmeric after turmeric, I have pap paprika, so I like paprika too. And so sometimes when I don't have paprika, I just use the curry powder. So it's either curry powder or paprika, and if I have the two, I use the two. Yeah, so I've also added some salt to taste, and I got these Maggi cubes from the supermarket. I actually didn't know that they exist in Kenya, but then I got them, and I was so glad to have them. And so I thought of just cooking chicken with them for the first time. And I'm, ju I'm just glad. I just loved it. Yeah. So I've added some two, two cubes of Maggi cube, like Maggi cubes. Yeah. So after adding that, these ones will bring flavor. Will like make your chicken more flavorful. You know, you don't want your chicken to be just there. You just want it some, having some flavor. And also added some oil so that the chicken does not like um, become too dry. You you want it somehow moist and moist and crispy. Yeah, so that one. That's why you add some oil and you also some add some water later if you don't want it. Like if you want to maintain that moisture in it. Yeah, so. After adding all the ingredients, you just want to mix, mix, mix so that all the ingredients like get inside the chicken. Yeah, so that's what you do, mixing everything together. But then this is my first time trying this chicken in, in an oven. The, the other time I tried it, I just cooked it in a, in a, what, in a um, sufuria and then I just covered with the aluminum foil and it was so moist and so good so now i've arranged them here and added some of the sauce that remained open the oven i'm going to heat it at 180 degrees both sides yeah so you let it cook after you let it cook both sides you might want to turn it over if the other side has not cooked but if every side has cooked you just let it be yeah, so here I've just decided to add more of turmeric and some oil that had remained. La, turmeric and some oil and so I've added. You can also add some water just to make sure it is, like it cooks moist. But I, I just want it to like cook and somehow be crispy. Yeah, so let it cook. And so after you let it cook just remove it from the oven and here it is it's looking so good it looks so good and this one is very delicious like now i've turned it and you can see the other side has also cooked well it is not like it's like it has cooked yeah you can see it has cooked and it's all crispy and good yeah so now we are done with the chicken we keep it aside and now let's cook the the sauce so in here i don't want this sauce to be too much complicated so i've added some frozen tomatoes garlic and ginger paste and then this is the royco the royco powder you add some water make a paste and then just add it to your <laughs> this help of mine add it here and yeah and, and a little bit of more water 
and then some salt and you're good to go so this one will just by the freezing your tomatoes makes work easier so let that cook and so here i've also cooked ugali i'm just giving it some shape using this bowl <laughs> the shape of ugali yeah if you want it if you want a shape of girl you can use that or uh, you can just shape it in square depends on the shape you want so yeah, i just want this shape and so that's what i've achieved but then i have a link of i have a video where i cooked ugali ugali is so simple to cook and also some cabbage yeah so here is the sauce it's so ready and looking so good it's very simple it's a simple sauce just get to like use very simple i i didn't use much spices in the sauce because i had used the spices in the chicken yeah so the sauce didn't have much spices except the ginger and garlic and salt and roiko yeah so that's it so now it's time for serving this is how i serve this delicious chicken it was so good you can see how good it looks just looks so good i love it i love it i love it yeah <laughs> so this is the cabbage the cabbage too i didn't take much time i just added some frozen like frozen tomatoes and that was it and then added the some oil a little bit of oil and cabbage then let it cook and i was done yeah so here i'm just serving the meal and here it is so good it looks really delicious i love it i love it you know <laughs> when you say you love something i i i really do i really do i love this meal it looks so good and cabbage if you don't like you know some people don't like cabbage with ugali so if you don't like cabbage with ugali for this meal you can use rice you can also eat this meal with rice and it will be very very delicious or you can replace cabbage with other other vegetables like skumawiki or spinach or other kenyaji vegetables and you will definitely love it yeah because it was so good the sauce was just okay and the cabbage well cooked the chicken very delicious ugali you can't even say very delicious yeah so guys this is it i really love this recipe and i'll be trying it again soon so this is the next day the remaining chicken i decided to cook pilau with it and it was really really good considering that i just i loved it <laughs> i loved it so much like that chicken that's just the i, I won't be boiling anytime soon so when i want to cook pilau i will just be baking the chicken in the oven with spices and then use it for pilau you will love it it was so good yeah guys thanks so much for watching this is the end of it i'm glad you love this video please like comment share and subscribe bye